This video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of the usual tutorial where I explain how to do something, I'm going to give you one week to implement a feature. This is very similar to what you'll encounter in the working world when your boss comes to you with a ticket and then asks you to estimate how long something should take and then tells you to implement it and get back to them when it's done. You'll of course have daily progress meetings. I can't emulate that through a YouTube video. So instead what we'll be doing is I'll be giving you what I think the estimate should be and you'll just follow that estimate, try to implement the feature, and then in once the time's done, uh, you can come back and watch the follow-up video, which I'll be releasing next Wednesday, to make sure that you implemented it okay. I mean, it's not gonna match my implementation because we're both gonna do separate things, but you'll run into problems and bugs along the way that you can try to fix and address just like you would in the real world. So, okay, what is the feature? Well, a couple weeks ago, I covered adding categories to a Rails 7 application and our blog application here, if I just do a db colon reset while I talk, our blog application doesn't have categories yet, but it does have posts and it has users. So what I would like to have happen is have the categories added to the application. So when I go over to the blog index page, maybe we see some categories on here. I want a drop down to appear in the top of the nav bar where I can click on like a more button. And when I click on the more button, it might have a couple of the categories, not all of them visible for me, and then a view all button at the bottom. Then maybe if I'm logged into an admin account, so I'll say dean at example.com with a password of password, and this is in the seed file for this application, I can go over to a uh, like manage categories button or a new category button uh, to go to the admin side of the categories. So a user won't see that drop down to create new categories, but they can use them to find blog posts based on what they're categorized as. So I might have a programming tutorial, a Minecraft video, because I've been on a bit of a Minecraft kick. Uh, and then I might just have some uncategorized stuff, which will be whatever we you know set the default to or something. But overall, what the feature should handle is the ability to have a drop down with uh, several pinned categories a view all categories button. I would like the user to be able to create new categories through the same little admin panel with the new post. Uh, so it should be restricted to admins only. And then I would like a category show page where uh, clicking on an individual category uh, shows you which posts are associated with it. Now I have a tutorial here which covers adding categories to a basic Rails app. The difference is you're adding this to a bare bones Rails application and the request I have for you is to add it into an existing application. And there's, a, there's an additional kicker there to make this as real world like as possible. The test application isn't tested. So you're gonna have to run into bugs because this isn't a pristine code base. Uh, this actually has some tech debt already after 12 episodes where there's some stuff that doesn't work 100% properly. So in that case, you might run into some stuff where you go to add in your categories and maybe your search bar doesn't work or you might even find that some of the stuff is broken from the perspective of just a regular search. Uh, and you might run into a bug that already existed before you even added the categories. Like if I search for the word test, or if I search for like the letter E, there we go. You'll see that we currently have an undefined method name for the user. And that's from the last ticket we did, which was episode 11. We added in the onboarding page where we added in a first name and a last name and we got rid of the name field, but here we're still calling it. So you have to replace this name field with something else before you can even get started on implementing the categories. So there's a couple things like that where I think you might run into some issues and I think it'll be a healthy learning experience to just take a week maybe and just try to implement a basic ticket like this because when you're first starting out, the, the tickets will be smaller than what I'm giving you here. Uh, mostly it'll just be like one or two line fixes your first couple weeks at, at a new job. But because this is a newer application, there's not as much tech debt, so I think you can still get through it. And I'm giving you a link to some documentation that you can reference, uh, just sort of as a replacement for not being able to meet with me regularly. 
Okay, I actually just realized there is one other thing that we can take a look at, and that is in the admin panel. What we can do is we can add a list here for the categories, or maybe we can see all of the categories. And then depending on how this works out, we can even come and take a look at the other application, which will be my blog demo. I can give you a look at what I did, and this will just be a replacement for mockups because normally your lead would have some semblance of mockups. But you can come over here and you'll have like a drop down with two different categories. You'd also have like a view more button. I just sort of came up with that on the spot. Uh, I can search for, I guess, the word cat and it'll return all the uncategorized ones. Or I can search for like test and it'll bring up the uh, test me one more time one, stuff like that. Uh, alternatively, you can click on like uncategorized and you can see all of the stuff that ends up under uncategorized. Or you can go to all categories where you can see testy test has no cat or no posts under it and the uh, uncategorized has all of them. So it's just a bunch of stuff like that. And of course, with the bullet gem, it's making sure that we don't have any unnecessary queries here. So you'll see stuff like, and let me just go ahead and close this because it's spoiling it. But you'll see stuff like in our controllers, like maybe our uh, admin controller or our search controller, you're gonna run into issues where your query needs to include some stuff to make sure you're eager loading. And Bullet will tell you that you need to eager load when you run into it. But that's just something to look out for while you're doing this. Now, in the case of my demo application with these categories, if I come over to a new post and I click on new post, I can, of course, change the category, add in whatever, and it'll update. Or I can come over to the post itself, click edit, and I can change the category in here and it'll update. Ideally, I'd like to see the category on the index page and maybe see the category on the show page with links to the actual category page as well. The last thing that I can tell you is that uh, you'll probably need to add in some custom logic for handling situations where you're not logged in and you're trying to access the categories path. So maybe if I sign out and I go to uh, like category slash two slash edit. Okay, maybe I don't sign in with that. Instead, I do test at case.com with a password of password. There we go. Uh, and I'll say John Doe. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Next and finish. So if I come over to slash categories slash one slash edit, I want it to say you're not authorized to view that page because our test at case.com account is not an admin account. So you might need to add some custom logic for admins to access the account properly. Now, I think that's about it for a one week long sprint. Normally you'd have two weeks. You'd probably have more than one ticket, but again, it's a YouTube video. I can only do so much. So go ahead, give it a try and we'll meet up again next week and we'll see if your solution and my solution accomplish the same things and you'll probably have a more sophisticated one than I will, but hopefully it'll work out and I will see you in next week's video.